Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Today we are going to talk about Plex Media Server and the Plex Media Center. The Plex Media Server is a program that you add to a computer so that you can access Plex on multiple platforms. Plex can be used on PCs, set-top boxes, and mobile devices. To start adding Plex, open up your browser of your choice and go to www.plex.tv not .com From Plex.tv you go to downloads you go down to computer and you'll see that Plex is supported by multiple platforms we happen to have a Windows computer you click download This process for downloading will take anywhere between 8 minutes, 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. We've already completed this, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that right there. Once you're done with your download, Plex will install. You'll create a username so that you can access its features. It will also invite you to in set up a MyPlex account, which is what you'll use to access files from online. So, in order to watch files on a computer, the next thing you need to do is download the correct player. As you see, the website has mobile apps, connected device apps, and the home theater. Plex Home Theater is what's used on a computer. The streaming devices are for things like Roku or Fire TV. And the mobile apps, of course, link up with iOS, Android. So, Plex for Home Theater for Windows. As I've said before, if you have a Mac, choose Mac. If you have Linux, choose Linux. Actually, it looks like it's not supported for Linux right now. Okay. So you're going to download this again. It's a quick install. It launches. We're going to cancel it so that it doesn't confuse itself. Okay. That process will take you about 10 or 11 minutes max. Grab a Coke, relax. Let the computer do its job. So next, we're going to launch Plex Home Theater. Plex has designed a very nice interface for computers most of their interfaces are very nice as in fact it was so popular that I have no reason to believe that Amazon didn't let it be influenced just a little bit when it designed the Fire TV if you've seen the Fire TV interface you know exactly what I'm talking about so we're going to go to channel directory uh, to get there you press left on your keyboard on your directional pad and it's just one of a couple of choices on this menu press channel directory and from here it brings you to a menu I'm going to click more I'm going to look at all available plugins it does categorize things but this sort of gives you an idea of the amount of community supported plugins available not every single thing on the screen is up to date. In that case, 
unfortunately something might not work but what we're going to add today is crackle crackle is a free tv and movie app from sony pictures you select it press enter press enter again and install it's going to take a couple of seconds it says the final list is empty but that is not a problem you saw I went to channels and open crackle we have our movies TVs an original we're just gonna make it very simple I'm not gonna go through an entire menu just want to show you how the interface works I can show you maybe a second of 1941 otherwise I'll have a copyright violation on my hands and we don't want that once you press play you get to choose what you want to look at it with here you can change settings It doesn't look like we've got a lot of choices so we're going to go ahead and start play and I'm going to choose the top setting and that's about as far as we're going to go with that we just don't want to get in trouble with YouTube but as you see, Crackle, for instance, has a number of quite recognizable titles. It also features TV shows. All of this is licensed. And that is in short the Plex home theater for computers later we'll be showing you how to use Plex on a Roku how to use Plex on a Fire TV and fill you in on some of the other things this program can do the channels are just one simple part of it for more information on Plex check us out at thestreamingadvisor.com find our section on Plex, take a trip to the search bar, type Plex, and every article we've got on Plex is listed. Thank you for joining us.